Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. On this channel, generally we talk about networking, cloud, IoT, but we haven't started AI and machine learning yet. The reason being, those areas were a little bit silos and applicable to data science, but now you have seen the AI ML making inroad into networking concept as well. Earlier it was available as a product, now it is also available as a DevOps. So in this video, we are going to discuss newly released Foundation Sec 8 billion parameter that is the model released by Cisco. And this model is specifically trained on cyber security database specialized for cyber security applications. At the core, it is open source Llama 3.1 foundational AI security. So the base is Llama with 8 billion parameter. So it's not huge, it's small, but again, it is highly specialized. For cybersecurity applications. Here you can see this is the model name, the model developer team at Cisco that has developed this model. And then this model is available for download. But mind it, this model is available for download, but you need to have hugging face login so that we know that who are the users using this model. Right now you can see the last month alone 24k models were downloaded. So what it can do? Intended use, SOC acceleration, automatic triage summarizing case note generation evidence collection and when we do the demo i'm going to show you live use case how it can help with the SOC acceleration proactive th threat defense it can also simulate attack prioritizing vulnerability and map to miter technique tactics and procedures ttps downstream use summarization i'll let you read this and obviously out of scope uses don't use it unethically don't generate harmful content etc so here is a sample how to get started with this model so you need to obviously know a little bit about data science concept like the torch library transformation tokenizer and all but it's very very easy to start you really don't have to be a data scientist to use this model all you need to know how to import the model how to load the model and a little bit of prompting and that's what here is a sample we are importing the libraries and then we load the model and we will start prompting and there is a detailed technical paper available that you can use cisco has also done some benchmarking as you can see ctia mcqa multiple choice question answer and you can see the foundation security 8b parameter is as efficient as llama 3.1 70 million parameter so it's a small model but highly efficient model especially when you ask cyber security related questions because it has been trained on miter attack nest gdpr threat intelligence best practices and it has 900 plus vulnerability root cause mapping example linking to uh, cve to cwe category so it's highly specialized into cyber security and that's what we want next what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how to download the model how to load the model and how to use this model obviously since this is a open source open weight model this is ai and ml we cannot do it without gpus I won't recommend you using Google Colab unless you have NVIDIA A100 available, which is high, highly expensive. So find a cheaper way to uh, run this. There are other compute as well available as well. I will show you what I'm using next. And let's go ahead and do the demo. All right, here we are. I'm going to give you a live demo of Foundation Sec 8 billion parameter model. Here you can see we have this Ubuntu machine with GPU and right now the GPU utilization is sitting idle because we are not running any prompt. However, the model is already loaded. So let me minimize this prompt and walk you through our code. We are uh, using a kernel Python 3.11 and I have Hugging Face GitHub already integrated. With that, you can see the first one is we're importing Torch and then from tokenizer, we are downloading the pre tin model. This is already complete. This will take some time, but as you can see, we have the four shards and it is already complete. Now, at this point of time, you are ready to run your prompts. And this is my first prompt. All right, so looks like the tokenizer is not loaded. So let me go ahead and load this. And this is going to take some time. At the same time, we can check, and here you can see the GPU utilization will spike. 
All right, loading checkpoint shards, 100%. So we are ready to run our prompts. This is a simple prompt. And make sure you do this input tokenizer and do the EOS, pad token ID and EOS token ID. All right, with that, this is running. And you can see the model is actively uh, working on our prompt. And you can see the GPU has spiked to 85% now. All right, so we have some output here. Uh, this is an interesting one. As you can see, during the prompt, GPU spikes, and then it goes back to zero. Here you can see I am providing some variable with the payload information, and then I'm asking foundation sec 8 billion parameter model to map this alert to micro, uh, MITRE model, MITRE attack uh, technique. All right, here you can see it is actually returning the techniques T1059 and sub technique. And here output is truncated, so we can actually click on this and it'll show everything. Okay, now let's do something different. You can also simulate attack like using target entry point and constraint. You can actually simulate some kind of attack do it ethically make sure you have permission or it is sitting locally in your network don't uh, port scan any anything which you don't own all right so that is something how you can construct an attack we are not going to simulate attack but i'm going to just run some prompts with harmful prompts where we are not actually targeting anything but we are getting guidance how to create a, a phishing email right here you can see it is guiding us step by step your playbook. Um, next, I'm going to ask design a data exfiltration attack from database server using DNS technique, including obfuscation techniques. So we are being very specific. I'm going to go ahead and run this playbook. And here you can see I have two print response statement. The first one is um, response dot split because it, we don't want to repeat the prompt. Here, without that, you will see that the prompt is repeated in the first line. After that, you can see this project involved designing the data exploration, research and analytics. And this is complete step, investigate existing DNS, uh, DNS tunneling technique and methodology, develop and prepare, um, prepare your document, uh, re uh, report and documentation. So it is giving you quite a bit of detail how to get started. These are all harmful uh, prompt. You can think of it's like a ethical hacking. Simulate lateral movement using bash the has after obtaining credentials from window workstation includes steps to exploit SMB vulnerabilities. Very detailed response. Here you can see steps. What you have to do? Get the hash and Open in a text editor. Here you can see we have the entire details here. It is actually uh, letting you know what command you have to run and all those things. Pretty impressive. Um, this is heavy on GPU. Of course, you need um, A100, or in my case, I'm running. Let me show you. Here you can see we have RTX A6000, and I have two of them. Uh, you definitely need two, although I, I have observed that second cpu never picks up during my prompts but if you run with just one gpu uh, it's the playbook is going to crash it's actually not going to load the model so don't waste your time always start with two of uh, this gpu if you're using 6000 i believe with 100 you can just um, run this playbook with one gpu thank you